Hello everybody, Rebel Coder here again, and today we are going to solve our first Rosalind problem. In our last lesson, as a part of a DNA toolkit, we wrote our first function that counts nucleotides, and now we can use that function to solve our first challenge on Rosalind. Let me switch to the website right now and show you around. So, we have five sections here. Python Village, Stronghold, Armory, Textbook Track, and Algorithmic Heights. We will be solving all of these as we progress in our course. But today we're going to start with the simplest problem this website has. And we're going to go to our stronghold part. And we can see the first challenge is counting DNA nucleotides. Let's click on that. Okay, so here you can see problem description. And of course it is a very simple challenge. And we already solved that in our last lesson when we wrote nucleotide count function. So we're just going to play that here to get our first badge on Rosalind. You can always expand this part here, and there is in-depth information about this particular problem. So in this case, it's just an additional information about the nucleotides. But for some more challenging problems, there will be a lot of information in the background about the problem you're trying to solve that you will need to read and figure out. But we will be doing that together. Okay? So here is the sample data set and the expected output for this particular data set. So we can always test our algorithm before we submit our answer. So let's switch to our project file right here. So as you can see from the project structure, I have already created all the folders to match Rosalind structure. So you have algorithm heights, armory, stronghold, textbook, and village. And today we're interested in our first stronghold challenge, and I've created this file already. It's called count nucleotides, just to match the name of the challenge. So we're gonna go back to our DNA toolset. We're gonna open up our toolkit. Of course, you could try including this file in one of these files, but just to make it stand alone. So let's say if you're just interested in particular Rosalind challenge and you want to look at the code of this challenge it should be standalone. So we're going to be doing this. We're going to be copying specific functionality that we need to solve this problem into that file. So we're going to copy this count nucleotides function. We're going to close it up. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to copy and paste it right here. So we don't need that thing here. We're going to be using just this clean function. So now we're going to create our DNA string. And let's assign it a random sequence, something like that. Now we're going to store the result of our function call into a variable. Let's just call it a result. We want to pass our DNA string to it, right? And of course, we want to print out the results just to see what it returns. So let's save that and run it. And of course, we get the result the same as we got in our last lesson, so we know how this works. But we can see a problem right away. So the format in which our function returns the answer is a dictionary. It has a key, value, key, value, key, value. Let's go back to our Rosalind Challenge website, and we can see that we have to pass a string, and the result has to be like that. So that's the thing. Rosalind, when we will be submitting our answer, it will be expecting a very specific format. So if we're going to try solving this problem by copying and pasting that dictionary we just saw, even though it's a correct answer, we will fail. The challenge will not be solved. So we need to get this output somehow from our function. We're not going to be changing our function. Let's instead format our print statement. OK, let's go back to our code. And let's try modifying our print statement here. But before we do that, let's do a type check on the result. Just to make sure it returns a dictionary. If we're going to run that, we can see a class is dictionary. But we just need four pairs, OK, of digits. So instead of that, we're going to use our join function. And we're going to pass it a list comprehension. So
And of course, result, as it is a dictionary, will have items. So we're going to grab every single value in that dictionary. But we're going to see you have a problem right now because val is actually an integer and join is expecting a string. Let's run it so we can see that. Expected a string instance int found. So we just need to do a cast right here. So let's save it and run it again. And it definitely looks like the result we actually need to submit to Rosalind. Before we start our challenge and we get our text file, let's try running the example. So we're going to go back here and we're going to copy this line. We're going to copy and paste it into our project instead of our test line here. So we're going to save that and we're going to run it. And let's compare. So 20, 12, 17, 21. And it is 20, 12, 17, 21. All right. So it does look like our algorithm is ready to solve this first challenge. So you can see here it is a timed challenge. So it has a time limit of five minutes. But let's do our download data set here. Okay. So you can see that, but uh, I got a dialog to save a text file on my computer. You can probably see it here. Okay. So I'm going to open up this file and I'm giving a very long string and let's copy this string into our project. So that what I was given and you'll be given to, it's a completely random string. Everyone will get a different string. So if we're going to run it, it generates this output. We're going to copy this output right here. We're going to copy it. And we're going to go back to our Rosalind challenge and paste your answer right here. So we're going to submit our answer. Okay, so congratulations. You solved this problem. Now you may like to try the next problem. So here we can see that result is correct. If it would not be correct, you would see incorrect. And you can do as many retries as you want. So let's go back to our account. And now we can see you have a first achievement. First problem solved. You can get this achievement by just filling out your account, your country, your language, your nickname, and information about yourself. Okay. So this is it for our first Rosalind challenge. Of course, it's going to be committed to this repository. So if you want to look at all of the challenges we will be solving, you can always pull down the latest git commit and take a look at the code. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Join and help to build our Telegram bioinformatics community. And for more in-depth discussions, please join our Matrix server. If you have enjoyed these lessons and they have helped you in any way, I would appreciate a thumbs up and please share these videos with anyone who might find them useful too. And of course, any help and contributions through PayPal, cryptocurrencies or Patreon are always welcome. All of the links are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in the upcoming videos. Until next time, Rebel Coder, signing out.